Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Kingdom Come Deliverance. My name is Camel and today I'll be showing you where to find the hidden treasure locations for treasure maps 21, 22, 23, 24 and 25. Once you find and loot all five of these secret hidden treasure locations, you'll gain amazing items which you can use, but they'll also have a combined total value of over 28 thousand groschen. And to be clear, you don't actually need to have the treasure maps to find the treasure. So if you don't have the maps, don't worry, that's what this guide's for. Timestamps for each of the treasure maps can be found down in the description along with the loot that you can find in them, and you can also find links to my social media and to my other Kingdom Come Deliverance guides, be sure to check all of that out. Now firstly, before setting off, you'll need a shovel. The easiest way to get one is at the Ratai Mill, where you exit the prologue. It's right here next to this card and is yours for the taking. So now let's go and get the treasure. So we ended the last video with treasure map number 20, so of course we're starting with treasure map 21. Alright, it's not actually too clear where this is because there are no named cities or towns on there. However, to the bottom of the picture it does look a lot like some mines, and we do know that there's a bunch of mines in Scalitz. So what we'll need to do is cross the river and head up into the hills just south of Scalitz, on the opposite side of the valley. There's a path that we can find that heads west up the hill, and once we get to the end of this path, we will find the entrance to one of the mine tunnels. On the greater map, we can see that I am here, just to the south of Scalitz. And if we take a closer look at the map, you can see exactly where my character is standing and also where the entrance to the mine is. As you can see, there is that path there that leads straight to where we need to be. Okay, so now that we're here, let's walk into this cavern tunnel. I would highly recommend you use a torch, so definitely bring a torch for this. Otherwise, it's just going to be pitch black. So follow this hallway all the way along until you come out into this bigger room. Room. Then turn left and we'll see three ladders that lead up. Take all three of the ladders to the top. So once at the top, we'll be met by another hallway or mine shaft or whatever you want to call it. Keep following this through for about 10 seconds. Soon enough, it will open up into a bigger room once more and we'll run into another ladder. What you want to do is run past the ladder and here there is a very hard locked chest. This is the treasure we're looking for. Now you will have to open it and again it is very hard so if your lock picking skill isn't up to scratch, luckily for you I do have a full lock picking guide to help you out in that department. So now that we have it open, let's have a look at what's inside. Alright, we have the Bright Milanese Brigadine. This is actually, as far as I'm aware, the best armor in the game. Not only does it have a super high armor rating of 24, but it also only weighs 5 pounds. Amazing, and if for some reason you don't want to use it, you can sell it for 2,800 gold. So all around, whether you want to use it or you don't want to use it, it is an amazing piece of armor. Next we have 368.6 Groshen. After that we have the Lu die. The description for this is the first of the line of demonic die. We did get the second demonic die in the previous video. I don't actually know what demonic die do, but I'm definitely using them. Or if you don't want to use it and you're a good Christian, you can sell it for 50 gold. Next we have the noble's shoes. These probably won't come in use for you. There are way better shoes that you can get that are more noble than the noble's shoes, so you'll probably just want to sell them for 105.7 groschen. Next we have the recipe for buck's blood potion. I mean, who doesn't want to drink the blood of a buck? Of course, if you do want to learn how to make this potion, you'll have to learn to read, then you can read this recipe and learn how to make it. Now, if you're not into that, you can sell it for 350 gold. And finally, we have a silver ring. You can wear it and increase your charisma slightly, or you can sell it for 184 gold. So all up, it's actually a pretty good chest. I mean, that bright Milanese Brigadine just makes it excellent, regardless of what else was in the chest. But the treasure for Treasure Map 21 has a combined total value of 3920.2 groschen. Not amazing, not terrible, right in the middle. So after 21, we have Treasure Map 22. Now for some reason, this is literally on the other side of the map to the rest of the treasure maps in this video. The other four are all quite close together around Scalitz, and for some reason, this one is just in the middle of nowhere. This map doesn't help too much. I mean, it just lets us know that we're kind of in the southwestern corner of the map. And given that area is massive, yeah, it doesn't really help. All we know we're looking for a pile of sticks, a Jenga game gone wrong. So what we want to do is head up into the mountains and into the forests to the south of Sasau. Finding the general area where this is is actually quite difficult, but once you're in the general area, this thing's pretty easy to spot because it sticks out like a sore thumb because it's a pretty barren area up here. So of course we find some broken wood again, Jenga gone wrong, and there is a sack. This is the treasure. Now on the map, we can see it is marked here. It is actually right next to one of the paths, which makes it a lot easier, and it's also at an interesting site. And if we take a closer look, this will help you pinpoint the exact location of this. As you can see, it's kind of just under that black mark in the forest. 
So of course open the sack and let's have a look what's inside. Okay, well we have a dark Milanese Brigadine. Again, this is one of the best, if not the best, chest armors in the game. It's got a rating of 24, which again to my knowledge is the highest there is. It also has a weight of 5, which is super light. And unlike the bright Milanese Brigadine, this one is worth 100 gold less. Don't know why. But again, whether you want to use it or you want to sell it, this is an amazing piece. Next up we have the third die, and this is the third and last in the line of demonic dice. Again, don't know what they do, but I'm definitely using them. Or again, if you want to be a holy Christian, you can sell it for 50 gold. Next we have the German Bassinet. It is a pretty good headpiece, but there are definitely better ones. But if you don't have one of the better ones, this will definitely do. And if you don't want to use it, you can sell it for 876.8 groschen. Pretty good. Next up we have 358 groschen. Not a bad sum at all. Next up we have the Magdeburg Sword. As we can see, it's got a damage of 57. Now this actually puts it as the third best sword in the game. Well, actually that's a lie, it's the third best long sword in the game. If you count the short swords, hunting swords and things like that, then it will be ranked lower than third. But in the longsword class, this is the third best. If you do want to know how to get the best longsword in the game, St. George's Sword, check out this treasure map video here, where we go and get it. Now with that said, the Magdeburg Sword is actually the best defensive longsword in the game. So if that's what you're into, this is the best sword for you. And if you don't want to use it at all, it does have a whopping value of 2,500 groschen. So very nice. Now, you know earlier how I said there's definitely better and more noble shoes than the noble's shoes. Well, these are those, the noble's dark shoes. Not only are they dark, which means people won't spot you as easily, but they will also boost your charisma so people will treat you better. And compared to the noble's shoes earlier, these are worth more than nine times the price, with a whopping price tag or selling price of 941.9 groschen. Very nice. Again, whether you want to use them or sell them, these are excellent. Next we have the recipe for the Cockerel Potion, a slightly better version of the Dickerel Potion. Of course, if you do want to learn how to make this potion, you'll have to learn how to read, then read this recipe, then you'll know how to make the potion. And if you're not interested in cooking up crack in a castle dungeon, well, first of all, what's wrong with you? But secondly, you can just sell it for 175 groschen. And finally, we have the Silver Ring. You can wear it to get some extra charisma, or you can sell it for 184 groschen. Now, this is actually a really valuable chest, as the total value for Treasure Map 22's treasure is a whopping 7,974.7 groschen. A very nice sum. After 22, we of course have Treasure Map number 23. Now, this map isn't very helpful. There's no named cities or names anywhere, so it doesn't really help you figure out where the hell this is. If you are familiar with the entire geography, sure, that helps. But if you're not a psychopath like me, it's not very helpful at all. And it does appear to be marked at the Pen 15 Clubhouse, if you know what I'm saying. It looks like a dick. Okay, so what we need to do is run into the woods that can be found to the north of Scalitz, an area probably most people won't go. There is a path here that we can keep following up, and eventually we'll need to veer off to the west and head up the hill and we'll actually find this amazing old druidic totem looking thing. This is marked as an interesting site and there is a cave underneath it inside which is the treasure and also some skeletons. Very, very alarming. So on the greater map we can see that we are here just to the north of Scalitz in the woods. There is a little farmhouse here and we can see that we're just off the west of the road that leads north. And if we take a closer look at the map, we can see that we are right here, just to help you pinpoint exactly where this is. Again, it is marked as an interesting site. There is also a big ding-dong in the forest to help you locate this treasure. And at the base of every ding-dong is the family jewels, am I right? So let's open up that sack, ironically, and uh, look at the treasure. All right, so first up we have 273.7 groschen. Hey, that's a pretty cool. Under that we have a necklace, which we can sell for 1,000 gold. Next we have the nobleman's boots. Now, holy guacamole. Speak of better noble shoes. All right, these will massively increase your charisma. And if you don't want to wear them because you're too busy walking through woods and fighting bandits and noble shoes do not belong in your feet when you're doing that, then you can sell them for 1,100 groschen. Next, we have the quartered combat jacket. Now, this has an armor rating of 12 and a weight of 6, which is literally half the armor of the Milanese armor we got earlier, and it weighs more. 
So you'll probably want to sell this one. Uh, it does have a value of 1,200 groschen, which is quite nice. But again, yeah, you'll probably just want to sell it. We have literally gear twice as good. Onto that, we have the recipe for the preserver potion. If you do want to learn this recipe, of course, you need to learn how to read first, then you can read the recipe, then you'll be able to make the potion. And if you're not into cooking up LSD in a witch's grove, then you can sell it for 240 groschen. And finally, we have the unpopular dye which you probably shouldn't use as its description is sometimes the dice fall well, sometimes not. This one, probably not. All right, let's add up the total value for this. So the combined total value for the treasure of treasure map 23 comes to 4,053.9 groschen. Again, just like treasure map 21, it's not bad, it's not good, it's right in the middle. So now, after 23, we have 24, treasure map number 24. Okay, this map's much easier to figure out where the hell we're going. First of all, north is pointing north, we also have scallops marked on the map as a city, and we can see that it is very clearly a grave or a cross. That's where the treasure is located. It also doesn't appear to be in the woods yet, which will also make it easy to spot. So if we head into the fields that can be found to the northeast of Scallets, we'll see a big kind of hill. What we want to do is run past that hill to the west. And as we walk through the set of the Sound of Music, once we approach the edge of the woods, we will actually spot a grave clearly marked with a cross. More specifically, a crucifix. This is where the treasure is located. Now on the greater map, we can see that we are pretty much to the north, northeast of Scallets. And if we take a closer look at the map, we can see more specifically where this is. Again, it is marked as a grave. And it's actually just to the southwest of that big ding dong, diddly dong, that treasure that we just found earlier. So now that we've found the grave, of course, like any good Christian, we should exhume the grave. After all, I am using the demonic dice, so it's in my best interests. Now, interestingly, there is no sack or chest or anything in here like we normally find. There's just a skeleton, which apparently is what we're looting, I think. But anyway, open that rib cage up and let's look at the loot. So first up, we have two. 271.9 Groshen, that's pretty good. Next we have Long Inus's Sword, it's a weird name, but uh, it does have an attack of 68 and a value of 1,400 Groshen. Now interestingly, as an overall score, this is ranked as the fourth best longsword in the game, however its slash damage of 68 ranks it as the second best slash damage sword in the game. So if slashing is your thing, just like the prices at carpet warehouses, then this might be the sword for you. Next we have the Noble Shoes, once again, again we've been through these, don't need them, just sell them for 105.7 Groshen. After that we have the Lucky Playing Die. It's got a value of 50, but it is apparently also lucky. I don't particularly want to gamble, so I'm not willing to test that for you. Next, we have the recipe for pad foot potion. Of course, if you want to learn this recipe, you'll have to learn how to read first, then you can read the recipe, then you'll be able to make this potion. Now, if you're not into brewing cocaine in the woods of Bohemia, you can, of course, sell the recipe book for 390 groschen, so that's pretty good. Next, we have Shadowplay Volume 4. This is the final and most advanced version of the Stealth Skill Book. Of course, you'll have to learn how to read to be able to read it and level your stealth up with it. Now, if you're not into reading, like me at every point in my life, then you can sell it for 1,300 groschen. And finally, we have another silver ring that you can sell for 184 groschen, or you can wear it to boost your charisma a tad. All right, so all up, the treasure from Treasure Map 24 has a total combined value of 3,776 groschen. As has happened a couple of times in this video, it's not amazing, it's not terrible. But hey, I'm not complaining about making 3,700 gold. And after 24, we have the final treasure map, not including the ancient treasure maps, and that would be treasure map number 25. Now this map is as annoying as finding the actual treasure is. All right, so we have scallops marked on the map, then we have about 8,000 rivers, or a 2D diagram of someone's stomach, then we got a bunch of cliffs, and above it, a skull that's just graduated from university, which is uh, pretty interesting. So all we know basically is that it's in the woods to the west of scallops. Yeah, great, that's not vague. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this is super hard to find. Even after I marked its location, it was hard to find this thing. There is a path that runs through here, right near where the grave is, and again, and even then, I still got lost walking five meters. The bush is quite thick and shrubby, but eventually, after wandering around, you will find the grave. This is, of course, where the treasure is. 
The easiest way I can help you with this is to look at the map. So on the greater map we can see that it's vaguely to the west of Skalitz. On the closer map we can see that it is just to the north of the river and just to the southwest of that little bluffy cliff thing looking there. It is marked as a grave which I've moved out of the way so that you can see every single detail on the map that's around the area. Because again, even after I marked it on my map, exactly where it was, I took like an extra 30 seconds to find it. So once you do find this very wily grave, be sure to dig it up and teach it who's boss. And don't worry, all the annoyances of finding this are definitely worth it. Okay, so now that we have the sack open, let's have a look what's in here. Firstly, we have the biased die. Apparently someone tried to load the die and apparently they didn't do a good job. So I assume this die doesn't really do anything great for you. So you can use it if you like, or you can sell it for 50 groschen. Next, we have another dyed Milanese Brigadine. Again, this is, as far as I'm aware, the best armor in the game. It's got an armor rating of 24, a measly weight of five, and a massive value of 2,800 groschen. You can wear it if you like, or you can sell it. Either way, whatever you want to do with it, this is a brilliant piece. And actually, you've already got one of these, so you probably want to sell this and make some delicious gold. Next, we have 206.4 groschen. Don't mind taking that at all. Under that, we have Hercules and his Diet Volume 4. This is the fourth and final skill book for strength. It is also the advanced skill book, which means you'll need a strength skill of 15 before you can read this and level it up. And of course, to read it in the first place, you need to learn where to read. So you can read about Hercules and level up your strength with it, or you can sell this for 1,300 groschen. Either way, happy days. Under that, we have an Italian bassinet. I'm not sure where that armor rating ranks in terms of headpieces, but it's definitely up there. If you remember earlier, we found another bassinet that had an armor rating of 16. So this one has an armor rating of 21, which is super high. And funnily enough, it weighs more than the best chest armor in the game, which is interesting. But anyway, whether you want to wear it, which you probably will want to at some point, or sell it, which you might want to do because it has a value of 1,600 gold. Although of course, if you're going to use it, don't sell it. Again, it's one of those either way things, whatever you're going to do with it, it's going to help you out greatly. Under that, we have more Noble's Dark Shoes. Uh, these are brilliant as we ran through earlier, but now that we have two of them, just sell these for 941.9 groschen. Next up we have Razor. Now this is a short blade and it is ranked as the sixth best short blade in the game. However, it does have the second highest slash damage of any short blade in the game. So again, if like Paul's warehouse, you're into slashing, then this could be the one for you. Or if you need to shave, this is, uh, this is the one. Sponsored by Dollar Shave Club. And if you don't want to do any of that, you can sell it for 1,200 groschen. And finally, we have recipe for hair over the dog potion. A potion you will never want to make. If you don't know what hair of the dog is, it is when in the morning you've been drinking all night and you're super hungover, you then drink more alcohol to cure the hangover. It doesn't work, but if you do participate in such actions, that is called hair of the dog. So again, you don't want to do that. Therefore, you don't want the damn potion that does this. However, if you do, and you're a mad man, you will need to learn how to read, then you can read the recipe, then you can use the recipe to make the potion. Or if you are wise like me, you can sell it for 150 groschen. All right, so treasure map 25, as annoying as it was to find, it was worth it because the combined total value is actually the highest combined total value of any of the treasure maps with a whopping 8,412.1 groschen as a combined total value for treasure map 25's treasure. So provided you found and looted all five of the secret treasure map locations I showed you in this video, you will have collected a delicious sum of gold and a stockpile of very powerful weapons, armor, jewelry, clothing, books, and other bits and bobs with a combined total value of 28,136.9 groschen. That is the highest combined total value of any of these treasure map videos by about 5,000 groschen. So that is excellent. But if you want to learn how to make about 10 times that from one chest, check out this video here. But back to these treasure chests, now you have your choice of amazing items and in some cases even the best armor and weapons in the game, along with the satisfaction that you have now collected all of the treasure maps in Kingdom Come Deliverance. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel, and this has been my guide for the locations 
for the hidden secret treasure maps of treasure map 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. So I do hope that this video helped you out, and if it did, you will be very interested in checking out my other Kingdom Come Deliverance guides that I've already done. Links to them can be found down in the description. Now down there in the old description, you can also find links to my social media. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Now if you would like to support the channel in a more personal way, you can become a heroic patron on Patreon. As I'm sure you know, all of my time and energy goes into making these videos that I create for you to enjoy, so your support is most appreciated and welcomed in any and all forms. So thank you very much for watching, thank you for supporting the channel, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there soon.